Hey, what's going on guys? It's Peacemaker here today, and before I start things off, I want to apologize because I might sound a little sick. I got a little bit of a head cold going on. I'm really congested, and to be honest, I really just don't want to do this video, but I think it's pretty necessary because I haven't made one for a while, and I don't know. I've just been really busy. I haven't had the time. I've, I tried to show myself on Twitch for a while, and then uh, I just, honestly, I'm like, I mean, if I'm not at school, I'm at work, and if I'm not at work, I'm at school. There's really no in-between. I'm hardly ever playing this game maybe i get lucky and get one day off a week and uh, i'm able to play it but uh so i uh finally got some software to use i picked up sony vegas pro and uh that's what i'm using right now i also picked up a nice new microphone it's a cad u37 um, i i tested it out it sounds pretty decent i mean it sounds better than my g35 headset which i was using before but um yeah, so that's that's cool. So once again, I do apologize if I do sound pretty sick, but I'm gonna do my nice annual video on my opinions of Call of Duty for PC um, this year. It's Black Ops 3. We all know that already. Um, as of now, the game actually, I was I was pretty impressed. I mean, I was and actually I was kind of shocked because you know I, I saw the reviews on Steam. It said I think it was mixed, and mixed is usually not a very good start to a game's lifespan because you never know like mix people see the reviews are mixed and they're just like oh well this game just you know it might not be very good so like they read some reviews and they're like all right well people are mostly saying it's good so i mean they go ahead and buy it but you know when they see that and they judge their their opinion of the game before they even buy it on what the overall rating of the game is they don't buy it because you know they don't you know get into it right away so uh that's kind of what I want to talk about. I kind of want to settle that. Um, it definitely does not deserve a mixed rating. I think if I had a choice, I would say it deserves more of a mostly positive um, to a very positive rating on Steam. To be honest, this game actually, this game is actually it kind of it kind of pissed me off a little to begin with because the first thing I noticed as soon as I got into a game was the severity of the mouse lag. And, which is very easy to fix. I'm actually, I might do a short follow-up video on, you know, how to fix the mouse lag because it is fixable and it's definitely something that needs to be fixed in a patch just because of, um, you know, people, a lot of people are complaining about it and I don't really think Treyarch has done anything to fix the mouse lag itself quite yet. So, um, I, I, I may or may not be doing a video on how to fix that. It depends. It's very... Like, there's a lot of things you have to consider I mean this works for me and it could be a different fix for somebody who doesn't have the same hardware as I do so like um, come out with a, a Nvidia control panel you change all your settings in there to make sure the game is you know working correctly with your hardware basically it it, it doesn't you set it to where it doesn't you know do specific things when it doesn't have to that might inflict some kind of input lag no matter if it's your mouse or your keyboard either way but it is fixable and i also do have a logitech mouse and i have that logitech software so i mean not all people have that a lot of people have razor mouse and um don't get me wrong i don't know how to fix it for a razor i don't have any i didn't even know there was razor software but um like i said it's it's a fix and it's fixable and if you have a logitech mouse you have software for it and then you have a uh, nvidia graphics card i can tell you how to fix it um but that's probably the only thing i noticed that was really wrong with the game when i first started playing it was the severity of the mouse like it's it's almost where it's it was unplayable and that's what a lot of people are writing negative reviews about was the input lag not specifically the mouse but also like it's any input device it could be your your keyboard or whatever it could be your monitor some maybe your monitor has a really high response time that also would affect it um, mine has like a two millisecond response time which is pretty decent um it i haven't had any problems with that um let me think of something else that was bad uh there really wasn't much bad i mean like a lot of people were complaining about massive frame drops and you know i haven't you know, I have, I have a pretty decent computer, and, like, I can easily play this game, no problems. Like, I, I have, I play on a 1 to 1 resolution scale, so, um, the game is set for 1080p, and I play it in 1080p, so, I mean, there's no problems there. I play at, uh, uh, what is it, yeah, 1080p, uh, full render resolution to 1080p, I don't render it any higher, because I know it's gonna just, it's gonna be a disaster. It's gonna look nicer, but it's gonna be a disaster, I know it's not gonna work, so I don't try to push it. 
besides like i like to record and stream at the same time so it's not a good idea to do that i don't stream with a full resolution scale either i do scale it down 10 percent to about 90 so that's that and um as for performance i do think this game actually does perform rather decent um Compared to Black Ops 2, I don't think it performs as good just because you can definitely see the difference in frame rates compared to Black Ops 2. And uh, they're, they're very big differences. Like in Black Ops 2, I was getting near, damn near like 160 frames a second on every map. At always over 100, at least 120 on all maps. This game, I'll be lucky to get over 100 to around 90. So it, there's a huge difference in frames as you can see Treyarch kind of stepped up their game with the graphics a little bit I know they were trying to make a really good PC game and they've you know They've done a pretty decent job at it so far as far as I can tell I've been playing the game for about Well, I actually had it since it came out so I've been playing it as long as you probably have So, you know, they were doing a pretty good job at that um, Gameplay itself uh, the gameplay is pretty decent. It's a lot like Black Ops 2 um, without or I mean with the specialist abilities like with the uh bow and arrow or the gravity spikes or the grenade launcher which is the one that i'm currently using uh speaking of the gameplay I'm, i actually pulled this from a stream because i had no banked footage of the game itself i don't individually record my games like i it just takes too much time and you know to actually get a game that's decent is very is very rare when you're actually recording it so i just like i stream it i stream for about two hours and then i pull the best game i get from it and well this this wasn't the best game but it was, I didn't feel like looking I honestly I was too lazy to look for a decent game so I just picked this one um the I'm trying to think of something else I could say about this game that you know is not so good I mean the only thing I could really think of is a mouse lag uh, in terms of gameplay I think there's um, I think we're strictly talking about the multiplayer here because this is what you're seeing as you can see I'm, I'm using the game maker and to be honest, I'm pretty sure, like, if I go back to watch this stream, I think it was because the game before, everyone was using a haymaker, and I was getting pretty angry, and I just, you know, I wanted them to immediately regret their decision of using the haymaker, and I believe I proved my point, but I'm honestly not sure. Um, I feel really dirty using the haymaker, that's not the gun that I would recommend using just because of how OP it is, especially for PC gamers, how they have such fluid control of their game. They can control anything. They control all their movements at once with just two hands. It's it's just too OP for a PC game. Just the way uh, just the way PC gamers play their games with the mouse and keyboard. It just it's just too fucking overpowered. I'll tell you that. Um, same with that auto sniper. Like people abuse that too. Um, I don't even know what it's called. Some auto sniper. Um, stun grenades are pretty OP, but they've been OP in Black Ops 2. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of other things compared to Black Ops 2, because Black Ops 2 is the last decent Call of Duty on PC. Um, Nuketown is fairly similar. There's a few wall new wall running spots. As you can see, there's uh, like a, a glass wall right there. You can there's this like billboard thing to that to my left, as you just saw. Uh, I don't honestly. I don't even know what it is. They just added a whole bunch of wall running stuff to adapt to the new movement. The wall running, like, you may seem like, oh, it's Titanfall 2.5. It's like, okay, but, you know, people didn't complain about the movement in Titanfall, so, um, why would they complain about it in Black Ops 3? Maybe it's just because, like, everyone's just like, oh, it's copying Titanfall, but, you know, whatever. I mean, it, it, it it's not, it's not as bad as the jumping in Advanced Warfare, I'll tell you that right now. That was way over the top, and I think they should have done something about that, because that's... That, that is no way to play Call of Duty. Super jumping. Like, I, I disagree with that. But, um, definitely, I think this game is def- is- It's- it's pretty damn good. I mean, I've- I've enjoyed myself playing it, and usually, like, the past two Call of Duties, Ghost, even Black Ops 2, like, I played every Call of Duty on Xbox 360 or PS3, whichever one, and the la well, I was- I was pretty young when I played the first ones. I was maybe eight. I was probably- like six or seven years old so i honestly didn't care as long as i got to play it then i just i just honestly didn't care but compared to the last few i played on xbox 360 i did not like black ops 2 on xbox 360 i did not like it 
Well, I did like it on PC. Ghost, I did not like on Xbox One. Advanced Warfare, I did not like on Xbox One. Advanced Warfare on PC was good for a while. And then it just, you know, it, it turned into a really shitty game after, you know, after some time. And I'm not really sure why it did that, but it did. Like, I don't know if it was just me. The game just got worse. Every time I tried to play it, it just got worse and worse. It just wasn't the same as playing it the first time. But my final opinion on Advanced Warfare was not good. Ghost, not good. Uh, Black Ops 2, I, I didn't like the gameplay of Black Ops 2, but I, I did enjoy playing it on PC because it was fun. If it was fun, then I, I played it. I didn't like it, but it was fun, so I played it. I know it, it, don't, it doesn't make any damn sense. Like, why the hell would you play a game if you don't even like it, but it's still fun? It makes no fucking sense. I know it doesn't make any sense, but you you might know you might have like be able to relate to that. I don't know. You play a game, it's fun, but it's just it just sucks. Um, kind of like Counter Strike. I think it sucks, but sometimes it's pretty fun. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, well, Black Ops Three is probably the only Call of Duty I actually really thoroughly enjoyed so far, and uh, for a long time, the last game, last Call of Duty I liked as soon as it came out was um, God was that. Uh, I believe that was Modern Warfare 3, and yeah, that was definitely the last game, last Call of Duty game that I actually liked at launch, and that was, uh, that was a long-ass time ago, and I'm pretty surprised, and uh, Black Ops 3's been, you know, it's been pretty good, I like the little, I like the short, like, lift jump, I do think that's really good, because it allows you to get, like, it allows you to jump over small objects, or allows you to get into rooms differently, it changes, it changes the game a little bit while still being the same, you know what I mean? Um... But definitely, Advanced Warfare took it a little too far. <laughs> uh, another thing I want to talk about real quick is the combat knife. That thing is so OP. Like, I, I love that thing. And, and, and in fact, I love it so much that I honestly can't get mad at other people using it. Because it's, it's a tactical need. You need it. it. It's basically the only secondary in the game that actually kills people. Other than the RPG. But honestly... The tac knife is so fun to use. I know you don't see me using it in this video because I don't think I unlocked it yet. I think I have some pistol or something as my secondary. But like if I if I have other streams where I just walk, walk like uh, just like walk around and kill people with a combat knife, I get so many kill fees with that. It's not even funny. Um, but definitely um, the game itself is just is it's very fun. I do enjoy it. The people that play it not so much, but the game itself is pretty pretty good. So, this just about wraps it up. I mean, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can kind of relate to my thoughts of this game. Um, this was pretty subtle, and a lot of it was... There wasn't many evidence, or wasn't much evidence of why this game is better than the last. Um, but, you know, just take my word for it, I guess. If you want a thorough explanation, you could probably watch someone else's video. But, um, I'm going to wrap it up here, and I will see you guys next video. Follow me on Twitch, where I usually am. And, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.